Hey YouTube, how is it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Chula Divine's channel, what is up guys? My name is Amy. If you're returning, welcome back to my channel. So this is your daily message for March 27th. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get going. So we are starting off with the universe has your back deck um, for today. So the first one says through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. I feel like we all need this right now. I feel like, you know, the best thing that all of us can do to keep uh, the peace, to keep the world in harmony, to keep the world from, you know, going mad crazy it is everyone should be meditating. Everyone should be, you know, praying. I just feel this sense of, you know, there's so much anxiety in the world right now. There's so much worry. And I feel like, as much as we all should be worrying, I also feel like we should be trying to keep ourselves as calm as possible. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's just my opinion. But that that's what I feel with that card is that the best thing that we all can do for each other and ourselves is to keep calm. Is to, to for whatever reason, this is all happening. And I, I've said this before and I'll just keep saying it, that I feel like this scenario this virus is happening because we have to stop and look at what we've been doing to our lives what we've been doing to the world and it's kind of this feeling of we've been taking so many things for granted you know we've been go 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 and busy and and, and not taking any time for ourselves and you know i can just go on and i feel like use this quarantine see this quarantine as our as a way to to work on you to heal on you to to be there for other people, to be there for yourself, to do the things that you normally couldn't do. I just feel like instead of seeing this quarantine as a negative thing, see it as a positive thing. See it as a way to spend more time with your children or spend more time with your family or to pick up that call and call people that you normally don't have time to even speak to, you know? So like switch it from negative to positive because um, I really feel like that's going to help keep you less worried and less anxiety and turn off the news. No, I mean, we all want to stay on top of what's going on and that's, that's totally fine. But if you're watching it 24 seven, you will drive yourself mentally crazy. So you do some prayer today, do some meditation today and just really keep yourself grounded. Really keep yourself on focusing on what it is that you can change and what it is that you have no control. Like you, you can only change the things you can change. You can't control everything and you can't change everything. Okay. So says, I always trust the direction of the universe and know I am being guided. Exactly. So we're all being divinely guided to where we need to go. We are all being shown what we need to be doing. We are all being told to stay in lockdown, to stay in quarantine, you know. So this is the perfect time to just know that the direction that we're all heading in is the direction that we're supposed to be going in. So instead of worrying about it, instead of having anxieties, instead of going crazy and taking all the toilet paper, you know, just... Just be there for yourself, be there for your family, be there for your children. Just embrace the moments that you have at home, okay? So as we go into your reading, I feel like the six of wands. So I feel like you guys are going through life right now kind of in this energy of Having to make so I don't know if it's having to make some really tough decisions, but it's kind of this energy I'm picking up of um, whatever you're doing in your life right now, know you're going to have supporters and know you're also going to have haters. There's people who are going to like you and there's people who are going to hate you. And you have to be willing to go, okay, well, which side am I going to worry about more? Am I going to put my energy on the people that actually love me and like me? Or am I going to worry about what my haters say? So it's sort of like what I have to go through every single day. You know, not everyone's going to love my channel. That's perfectly fine. You know, my content's not for everyone. So I focus on the people that do love my channel. I focus on the people that I get my feedback from. Um, I focus on positive feedback. You know, I do take some negative feedback on what I can change to make my channel better, but I don't really pay attention to anything negative. I mean, if you don't like my channel, you don't like my channel perfectly, you know? So that's kind of what I'm picking up for you guys is that whatever you got going on for yourselves right now, whether, you know, it's business, whether it's, you know, building up your brand, whether it's building up your passions, whatever it is, know that you are going to have people who are going to like your idea. Know that you're going to have people who are not going to like your idea. But at the end of the day, as long as it's you're, you're doing what you want to do for you, that's all that matters. Okay. So 
I just feel like this card says keep on going, keep on doing what you've been doing because better things are over the horizons for you, okay? So as the Six of Pentacles, I feel like money-wise, you guys got to be careful. Uh, find a balance when it comes to your money right now. I also feel like be careful about people coming around and wanting um, money from you. Um, I mean, I'll, we're going through a really tough time, so I would say help out those that are in need. But just be very cautious not to leave yourself short, okay? Because I do feel like with the Six of Pentacles, it's about giving and receiving, but it's also about not leaving yourself short. So if you know that you only have a little bit of money to get you through the month, you know, just be cautious. Because I like I don't want to say don't help other people because I think that we all should be helping each other. But at the same time, you have to worry about you and your home first. Okay? So ju just balance it out. Balance out your money. Balance out... Um, how much you're helping other people with the eight of pentacles see this is what i feel some of you are going right now i feel because this is you know putting one foot in front of the other and working towards what it is that you want and i feel like some of you have been studying or taking a course or you know just upping your business or you know starting a business or you know, doing something online from home, but it's, it's something where you have started something and now it's growing, it's evolving. Um, it's like, it's like solid foundation. So it's like starting from the ground up and working your way. That's what I'm hearing, um, for a lot of you today. Um, I feel like you do have support though. Like I, I feel that if you were able to start something, whether it's a business from home, whether it's, you know, whatever it is, you will have the support you need. Okay. Yeah. You will have the support you need. Okay. The emperor. I feel like the emperor is just saying, you know what? You guys know what you want right now. You guys know what you're going for. You know, you have to be that stable person in your life to say, um, I, I know my values, I know my worth, you know, I, I know what I want, I am going after it. And if people like it, great. If they don't, then that's okay. Because this is what I'm doing. This is my calling. This is my passion, right? So, and I mean, the lovers is here as well. So I feel like there could be a relationship on the horizons for you guys or relationship coming in. Facebook had this as well today, but they had, um, a different card, but same message. Um, so I do feel like love is definitely coming in for you guys. I feel like love is definitely on the rise. And so I feel like it could be a twin flame journey that you guys are on right now for m most of you. But the, the overall reading for me just symbolizes that you guys are really working hard towards your passions. You're working really hard towards what you're being called to do. And I feel like because there's so much negativity going on in the world right now, and there's so much going on with this virus that, you know, as we come together, as we, you know, pray, as we meditate, as we, you know, start building a foundation of, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do. And this is how I'm going to help people during a rough patch, you know, maybe. Okay. So I just heard this. Maybe you just said, you know what, I'm going to start a YouTube channel and I am going to do it on content about positivity and about uplifting, or, you know, I'm just going to come on here and I'm just going to talk to people and I'm just going to, you know, have a platform where people can come talk to me, you know, whether you go live or not, that's totally your choice. But I just feel like some of you are in this progress and this planning period right now where it's like you want to use this quarantine time as a way to evolve, as a way to grow as a human, as an individual. And I feel like once you find what you're passionate about, once you find what your calling is, once you find it, it's like going to be a light bulb going off and it's going to be like, you're going to go one foot in front of the other and be the emperor and, and just know like that's what you want to do. And then, you know, like I said, love is coming. Love is here. So if love has been something that you guys have been worrying about, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. So we have the singing and dancing therapy card. It says, express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magic power of music and movement. The angel sent you this card because they see the need for creative expression and balance of work and play. Singing and dancing are powerful ways to open your creative channels and feel the freedom of fully expressing yourself. You'll realize hidden talents and boost your self-confidence with the, these activities. Because musical expression is your soul's means of connecting with the physical realm, you'll also 
gain a greater sense of divinity within yourself. Many women discover their inner goddess through artistic forms of dance, such as belly or hula dance. So have more fun, you know, get out of your bubble for a couple hours and just enjoy the day, you know, sing, dance, you know, turn down the lights, turn on your favorite music, dance to the music, you know, let your body lead to the dance, sing along, like just have fun today. Like I, I feel like everything's been so serious lately that if you want to continue to be in that like worry mode and anxiety mode and you know, you're going to be depressed, but it's like, open up your windows, allow that music to go through your house, allow that fresh air to go through your house and then just embrace that. You know what? You're home safe and healthy. Okay. You're profoundly clearance, clairvoyant. Trust what you see in your mind's eyes, as well as with your physical sight for your spiritual vision helps with you healing, teaching and guidance. The angels send you this card to help you trust the visions you receive in your mind's eye during dream time, as well as the signs that you physically see, such as recurring numbers, feathers, coins, flashes of light, and so forth. Since your creator is all seeing, it stands the reason that you and everyone else would inherit the gift of spiritual sight. If your gift seems blocked, that cause may be a pa painful past experience that the angels can heal and help you release. Know that... It's right for you to see clairvoyantly as this blessing can be used to assist you with your healing and teaching work. Your clairvoyance also gives you continuous and accurate guidance, much like a GPS electronic map in a car that guides you to the right destination. Trust what you see. They have an archangel. So it says Archangel Raziel. I call upon you now. Please surround me with the highest and purest vibration of divine love to heal and release any old fears connected to my spiritual sight. Then breathe and relax as your body may tingle or shudder while it releases old toxins. Stay with this process until your body feels completely at ease. Know that you can control your clairvoyance by asking the angels for help. So this is really interesting. I've never gotten that card before. So it's all about trusting today. It's all about just knowing that, you know what, everything that's happening in our lives is happening for a reason. Everything, you know, that, that we're seeing, the physical state, you know, we're all being guided. We're all being taught a lesson in this, um, with this virus. So I don't know, guys, hopefully this resonates with you guys. Hopefully you guys have a great Friday. You guys take care of yourself. I'm sending you guys all love and light and I'll see you guys again tomorrow.